Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. We've got nearly 1,500 of these available for your listening pleasure, wide variety of topics. We continue to bring as many as we can, as often as we can to you. I do run multiple businesses, so sometimes I don't get here as often as I would like. Regardless, please subscribe, like, comment below, all that good stuff. This is the tenets of what it takes to be a good friend and or create solid friendships, and we continue to foray into that as best we can. So the first, and if you are looking to strengthen your friendships in any way, would love to be of assistance to you in that way, please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will get you in touch with me or a member of my team. We can make something happen from there. First thing is the amount of time that is put into the relationship is equal. So you may invite the person to hang out or spend time with you, and then they will reciprocate. The idea of uh, the value of the relationship is equal or close to equal often. That doesn't mean that things won't get out of balance upon occasion. Sometimes people need more from you than you anticipated to give them. However, the continuation of trying to keep the relationship investment as even as possible is something that you're both committed and connected to. Now, does this mean that it happens all the time? Certainly not. And the communication about any disagreements or differing views that you may have about the intensity of the relationship and or the things that matter most to you is important to continue to think about as you begin to understand the value of identifying ways in which you can be um, positively motivated to keep the relationship going. This means that you will communicate about things where you feel that the other person isn't in a um, I guess, right way or in a way that's going to lead you in a positive direction towards strengthening the friendship as a whole. The next thing is these individuals will be comfortable in the idea of taking the time to cheer you up. We all know that we're struggling with various things. More than ever before, especially in Western society, the cavern between those who have extreme wealth and those who do not is increasing. So struggles with emotional Mental and financial health is something that nearly every person is going to confront at least once or twice in their lifetime. When you have the ability to have to confront something that you're not ready for, then your friends or friend will be there to support you emotionally. This could be giving you a conversation. This could be giving you advice. This could be just listening as you kind of uh, go on about what it is that you're struggling with. Obviously, being able to be transparent in those conversations without being judged or condemned for the mistakes you may have already made or the things that you need to do for the future is an important part of the process of that um, balancing out a bit. So the next thing is they're humble. Even if they're doing better than you, they don't bring it up in a braggadocious way. Instead, they try to motivate you to do better for yourself and also make a um, benefit of value in you know kind of connecting for the future humility also means that even if things aren't going in the way that you want them to go in the relationship the other person is committed to making sure that you feel comfortable with the investment they have made in you as well as the things that matter between the two of you next thing is honesty and integrity so here's a difficult thing to handle but a lot of people don't want complete pure honesty they truly only want the honesty they can handle. So a person who is fully invested in you knows how to be honest with you in an in a emotionally appropriate way. Some people may need to hear that they need to uh, end certain behaviors in their life, but they may not be mentally ready to hear that. And so the struggle becomes if a person isn't ready to hear something but they need to, how does one handle that? And the challenge also becomes... What happens when a person isn't fully ready to handle whatever, hear or handle whatever they need to deal with on a consistent basis? So hopefully this is helpful to you. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.